Welcome back Hot Wheels fans. Today we're going to play around with one of my favorite Hot Wheels track sets, the Criss Cross Crash. Uh, this is a great track set, lots of fun, uh, kids love it. It uh, spins the cars around in a clover leaf with lots of near misses and lots of crash action. So we're going to uh, play around with this. Uh, it has four D cells in the battery compartment. Uh, and it's a real battery burner, which is one of the drawbacks. So I'm going to show you how we uh, converted this one to run on an AC adapter. Uh, those of you that have seen my other videos can see the uh, conversion using a two pin or a three pin uh, socket. And uh, I'll open the case up, show you uh, where I put the plug. You can see it here uh, near the on off switch uh, in the battery compartment. Uh, the adapter was put in right there so you can get a good view of that. We're also uh, going to play around with some uh, cars. I've got a little bucket of cars here. I've got a AC to DC adapter in the form of a K-Line model train transformer. So this has adjustable voltage, so we'll be able to use that DC output. And I've put a little uh, plug on the screw terminals there. So we can change the voltage and see how much fun we can have uh, modifying it from the standard 6 volts you get from the 4 D cell batteries. Got a couple of uh, alligator clips here, which we're going to connect to a multimeter so we can monitor the voltage as we're running the cars around the track. So let me get this thing flipped over, take the screws out, and show you what it looks like on the inside. All right, well, we got all the screws out of the base of this crisscross crash. You can see the base does not extend over the battery compartment, uh, which was good because it made it very easy for me to put this uh, three pin connector and by the way it is a three pin connector that I use not the two pin uh, which is a much safer modification because it avoids the potential for having an AC adapter plugged in at the same time that you have batteries in the compartment which could lead to overcharging of the batteries so uh, much uh, safer using the three pin so let's go ahead and lift this off and have a look here and as you can see it's very similar uh, to the smaller boosters even though it has four sets of rollers on the top side, it's still driven by a single drive motor. And when that drive motor uh, is operating, it spins all the rollers simultaneously through this set of drive gears. So let's take a look at what I've done here. Obviously, whenever you drill in one of these uh, connectors here, you want to make sure that you're not getting in the way of any of the moving parts, such as the motor and the gears and finding the suitable place inside this uh, uh, booster was a bit of a, a challenge. So the battery compartment really turned out to be the simplest place to put the plug. And then I simply drilled a hole through the webbing, ran the wires through there, and wired it up like I do a standard booster, interrupting the uh, negative to the motor uh, through the switch, and then attaching the other lead directly uh, to the battery compartment. So you can take a look at that, but as I said, Take a look at my other videos and you can get a much more thorough description of how I wired that up. Anyway, let's put this thing back together now that you've had a look at the inside and we'll run some cars. All right, we are ready to race. So let's take a closer look at what we've got set up here. You can see I've got the uh, train transformer uh, hooked up to a uh, lead that is going into our uh, socket plug right there with a five and a half millimeter uh, plug. I've also attached some uh, leads to a multimeter. This uh, particular transformer has an output in either AC or DC. So we're using the DC outputs. It'll put out a maximum of 18 volts DC. And I can't see the milliamps on here, but uh, it puts out sufficient uh, there we go, there's the maximum output there, and that's gonna be plenty to run this Hot Wheels booster. So, uh, unfortunately, the control on here is not very accurate, not very precise, so it's hard to get exact voltages out of this uh, simple transformer, but uh, we'll be able to get some pretty good racing going. Uh, you can see right now, I've got it cranked up to just about what you would get from four D-cell batteries. You can see there's no batteries in there but you would get six volts DC from four D cell batteries, one and a half volts a piece. And we've got almost that now. So uh, this would be enough to run the cars. Let's go ahead and turn it on. 
and sure enough, you can see it's working just fine. So if we crank up the voltage, the car should go faster. Let's try that out now. And you can see there's enough voltage there at 9, almost 10 volts to throw the cars right off the track. Obviously, we could crank it up even higher, but at that point, the cars simply don't even stay on the track. So, there you go, Hot Wheels fans. I would just say be careful if you're going to amp up the uh, or turn up the uh, voltage on these boosters those cars uh, do weigh enough to cause some damage uh, so be careful and uh, have fun with your hot wheels <laughs>